Hello, I'm Andrew Grant. I'm Chief Executive of Aylesbury Vale District Council. So I manage all the council's operations and report to the leader of the council who's an elected member for this area. Aylesbury Vale is one of the largest districts in the country. It's about 40 miles northwest of London. Connected Knowledge is our digital strategy so that we can really understand and predict what customer needs are going to be in the future and provide uh, better services by connecting all the knowledge about our people that have traditionally been held in different departments and release that information using the Salesforce platform and artificial intelligence and machine learning to unlock this information to provide better predictive services for people in our area. We looked at some of the Salesforce machine learning and they pointed us in the direction of uh, Mikhail and uh, Digital Genius. We use the word customer here because we don't say resident or citizen as if they're different people consuming different services to their life generally. They all go about their business, they go to the petrol station, they go to the supermarket, they watch Sky, they, they buy on Amazon, you know, and they have our services. And so customers are, are judging us how they judge the whole of life. My name is Mary von Hassel. My role is I am the Digital Programme Director. AI artificial intelligence for us enables us to automate some of the, the basic standard processes to free up our staff's time so that they can focus on the areas where um, they need to spend more time helping our customers, our residents. So the questions, we get asked a lot of questions over and over again. We can use artificial intelligence to answer those questions in a systematic way. Um, quickly, we can do it out of hours. The thing I'd probably like the best is that uh, we're continually improving it actually. So we've done some work, we've implemented some, um, some functionality, but we're not staying there, we're actually making it better every day. So we're looking at ways of automating further, um, of broadening the set of um, questions that it can answer, um, and actually just basically trying to improve our customers' experience every day. I think they see it as uh, getting rid of some of the things that they do that are not that interesting, um, to, to literally allow them to spend the time doing the more interesting work and answering people's queries, where, where they need somebody to actually talk something through with them. So yes, I think, um, well, we'll see when you chat to them, but I think you'll get a very favourable response. My name is Patrick Thompson and I work as part of the customer fulfillment team. Uh, well, I was quite sceptical at first, um, but it's really won me over. It's, it's really like helped the way we deal with customer queries. We can deal with them much more efficiently. A lot of the uh, questions we get in are very similar, so it allows us to deal with them very, very quickly and deal with more than one at a time. And we find that it's learning all the time, so the response has become more streamlined, it's becoming more efficient. I can also answer questions on subjects that I wouldn't otherwise know. Um, so I can respond to planning queries um, that I have no knowledge of um, because the, the digital genius template is there, it's loaded already. I was looking at the stats, in fact, recently, and over 50% of our responses now are just sent with no amendments. So that's a massive step forward. So every, every response that goes without an agent amending it is time that's been saved. So recently we have automated some of our responses. So those that are over 90% accuracy, we've automated those. On average, we think it takes about six minutes normally to deal with a web chat. So that's six minutes that we've saved by doing that. As you know, uh, moving from a, a telephone answer was about two pounds 22 per transaction and things like you know answering web mail uh, web chats using machine learning is in the sort of 10 12 pence so it makes complete sense to put a lot of the volume into this sort of method we've always had to evolve with what's coming next and i think these you can choose how ai and machine learning disrupts your day or not and i think it will move people to more creative pursuits digital genius has been able us to disrupt our own business positively for me, uh, if I was to recommend to people, it would be to start doing it, to do it more, to learn and make it better. Mm -hmm.